New tonight, what should be done with the Fairhope School property once used to educate generations of Eastern Shore youngsters? Yeah, the Fairhope K-1 Center has existed since 1925. It's been sitting vacant, though, for nearly a decade. Tonight, there are competing proposals to buy it. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight. Corey, you found out the plans couldn't be more different. That's right, Greg Kim. One option for this property is a small business and educational complex. The other is a hotel. Folks here have strong opinions on both proposals. To some, this nearly century old building may not look like much, but for many of those in Fairhope, the K1 Center property on Church Street is a beacon of the town's history. It was built in 1925, but shut down in 2011 to save money amidst inflating repair needs. Having my whole family gone to school there, myself included, you know, we, we think that it's kind of a, a critical piece of our uh, community infrastructure. We hope that we can have that place as a learning center where other people can kind of uh, look back at it and, and find it to be significant in their time. Two proposals are now on the table. Jack Burrell, City Council President, says the council's plan is to purchase the property from the Baldwin County School Board and renovate the building through grants. This school would be the, the new site of Hatch. The, the small business incubator, which we hope will, will be a, a great stimulus to the economy of Fairhope. Burrell says a performing arts center and solar farm would follow. If possible, he says the property's exterior buildings could also house STEAM or science, technology, engineering, arts, and math classes. But another plan proposes using the property for a boutique hotel and additional parking spaces to help downtown businesses. D. Mosier, who's drawing up the plan, says their roughly $3 million project will be paid outright and constructed by Capstone Investment. That site will return lodging tax in the quarter million dollar range. It will create the $30 million of economic value of the parking spaces, 150 of them, to be made by the businesses. As for preserving the building, Mosher says he doesn't believe it's worth it because it's a typical design that's been used all over the southeastern United States. Burrell says 80% of this project would be paid through grants. The rest would have to be gathered through private and public funds. I also reached out to Mayor Karen Wilson. She said that both proposals could have benefits for the city, but she believes a feasibility study should be done in order to find out the best option. Reporting live in Fairhope, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.